Live from the KATC TV3 studios, this is Acadiana's News Channel at 10. Good evening, everyone. Tonight in Memphis and cities across the country, there are demonstrations like this over the beating death of Tyree Nichols. And tonight, Memphis police released this graphic surveillance and body camera video showing officers kicking, punching, and clubbing the 29-year-old. Louisiana is on notice by the Department of Justice, which accuses the state of routinely violating the constitutional rights of citizens by holding people in jail past their release dates. Marcel, good evening. Senator John Kennedy is seeking a second term to the U.S. Senate. He's made headlines as the only senator on the ballot in the midterms who voted not to uphold the 2020 election results. You might remember on January 6th, he voted against certification in Arizona. And that's where I started my recent conversation with Senator Kennedy to explain that vote. You support the former president. Well, Does that here's, support here's, waver at all? Here's the way happening? I see it. Good question, Jim. As plans for a new Lafayette Parish jail move forward tonight, we're getting an inside look at the issues in the current jail. It's a story you'll see only on three. Look, that's the back end of her house. That's where that tin roof was just ripped off in those high winds. Miss Johnson says she was in her bedroom. The rain started coming in from the ceiling. She had no idea what to do, so she stayed put, and that's likely what saved her life. To get answers for this family, we came here to West Baton Rouge Parish where Annie died. The coroner's office says they think there's some ambiguity in that new law that passed last year after our report. There are changes for coroners in Louisiana four years after a KTC investigation body of evidence uncovered issues with cremation laws. Our report was mentioned at the Capitol when lawmakers considered Senate Bill 187, which Governor Edwards signed into law today. And that ban is in effect until further notice. And here in the Weather Lab now with meteorologist Bradley Benoit, until further notice, we're going to have some high heat out there. Yeah, that's right, especially as uh, the upcoming weekend wears on. The first week of Lent and many might be thinking crawfish for the weekend. Here's a look at this week's Crawdack Index. You can expect to pay an average of 685 per pound for boiled crawfish in Lafayette. It is a slight increase, about 0.6% from the numbers last week and a deeper dive into these numbers. Remember, this is our 10th year tracking crawfish prices in Lafayette. This week's price is about 8% higher than the historical average for this time of year. As we had to break, here's a look at prices for some of your favorite spots in Lafayette.